hi everyone welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to bring in my lime tree this is it right here from pot to top and these are potted plants they're gonna go inside my house and I'm saying they because there are two of them in there when I ordered this from the company I did not grow this from seed when I ordered it from the company I ordered one and it was supposed to be a pretty big size you know supposed to as my orange tree fruit the next year and what I got was and I thought it was much bigger than my orange tree when I decided to pot it I found that it wasn't a very big plant but there were two actual plants pushed up together side by side and that's what they gave me so it would look more full needless to say I do like my plants but I was so upset <laughs> you know that day that I didn't order from this company again I cannot remember the company um, I just it was like a block but I ended up with two of them instead and as you can see this is a, a royal mess here because I never shaped up the bottom I as you can see though I did cut the top I am cutting them because it was very tall and I was getting it ready to, re getting it ready to get into the house but it got warmer in the last week or so and so I kept it outside but this is it and I'm gonna shape up well this is them I'm gonna shape up both of them and bring them inside the house I will not remove them from the same pot I do not want these things to get too big but I am hoping though one day to see fruit I've never actually see blooms well that's a lie I've seen blooms on them not last winter but the winter before last winter they did not bloom at all and I did not do anything to get them to pollinate so all of the flowers fell off without any fruits um, occurring. I'm going to cut it down, shape it up I should say, and then figure out how to get this thing in the house. Because I don't think it can fit in the grow tent. I think I'm going to leave the June plum in the grow tent by itself and then put these in the sunroom. Only if they flower will I put them in the grow tent. I'll make room for them if I have to shove the June plum plant all the way over and tie up its, its stem so it's more vertical then I'll put this in but here it is right here here they are right here I should say but this is them I think the energy for this plant is going all over so I'm gonna redirect it to the top I have a lot of side shoots as you can see and you know lemon tree they have the thorns you see it there it is not nice being around this thing as you could see it it is not nice at all now it won't go in focus there it is these things hurt so I'm gonna cut off as much as possible and shape it so it's easier to handle inside the home but they're all over the place and as you can see a lot of leaves were lost and this was not because it was outside this thing happened inside the house this one came in last winter with um, aphids on it and I had to put it back outside and spray and it was under a blanket for a while outside I had to spray and I did cover it with, um, with a plastic too but it, I had to make sure that I did not have aphids in my head about, about a week after two weeks after I brought it in I noticed that there were aphids on it that they were coming from the soil in there so I had to change the soil completely and maybe that's why it didn't flower it was under stress you know it was and so I did that and then I brought it back in but thank goodness that week or so was not that cold so it did survive outside but it was a sacrifice for this plant because I did not want those aphids in my house and that's them and aphids were all over this thing and I don't think I sprayed it last year or if I sprayed it once I didn't spray it again but it was a week or so about two weeks after I brought it and I saw things crawling on it and I said no way and the leaves were dropping so the aphids were probably attacking it from outside when I brought it in but the leaf fell off instead I just saw leaves dropping and I knew something was up but that's it so I'm going to cut the bottom ones off I am going to cut off all of these and just leave the top I guess I'm not sure if I should leave one branch but this branch barely has as you can see barely has any leaves on it mostly just stem so this is what it looks like now I still have a couple 
of the branches in there. I'm going to clean that up. But this is its overall look or their overall look. I think I'm going to leave this branch here. This one here. Because I don't think this one has many at the top because I already cut the top off. Um, a couple weeks ago when I was going to bring it in I wasn't going to shape it up but I need to shape these things up there the, especially this thorny one so I have been cutting off some of the thorns too off the sides I just cannot when you walk by this thing grabs it I should have put it in a particular um, place in the sunroom so no one is too close to it but as you can see these look how Look at these things. Let me see. Look at this. How in the world? And it won't focus now. Unbelievable. <laughs> look at it. But look at it. It just won't. Come on, focus. There it is. Look at that. That looks so dangerous. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So dangerous but it won't stay in focus but that's it look at that so dangerous and so I'm cutting them off now it focuses when I don't want it to always that's how it works okay but I'm cutting as many of them off as possible because these things do hurt they hurt a lot when they grab onto you inside the house so that's it I'm gonna leave it like this give it that look okay get the energy to go you know, I don't want the bottom branches to the top. If, if it's going to fruit this year, that they're at the top and on the stronger branches. The side branches that were too thin anyway. If you can see them, they were too thin. And so I'm going to go for the top branches and hope that these here are sturdier to hold anything that may come. I still have some thin ones. But I'm hoping that some of the energy will come towards the, these branches and thicken them up than being spread all over the place as it was before. So this is it. So what I'm going to do now is spray with the knee more because as you can see, it's outside. But I'm not quite sure if you can see that. Any webs or stuff on it, any bugs or things in the soil. So I'm going to clean this up and treat it with neem oil and give it some fertilizer. This one is easy, not many leaves. But I have to spray as much as possible. And the soil. I may have to change the soil again because this was frightening last year. But I don't see any bugs. But yes, I do. Look right there. You see it. But that should not affect the soil, um, the plant. But this, is, there it is. Bringing nature inside the house. Well, as you can see, it's completely sprayed. But according to my husband, the aphids were two years ago, and the I ch I changed the soil last year. And that's when the plant um, did not adjust well. And I did spray the soil. And right now I'm just going to put some fertilizer in. It's mostly a fish emulsion. I'm not trying to grow fruits right now. I'm trying to keep um, the plant growing healthy, nice and green. Because as you can see, some of the leaves were turning yellow. It's too cool outside for it now. And there you can see. The, the neem oil that's on it because I'm seeing um, web I'm not quite sure if you can see the web but there's a web up there on two branches so I'm going to keep this plant outside for a couple more days to check to see what's going on but this is it guys I think it looks so much better what do you think so much better they look so much better there are two of them here and I'm hoping that it will flower it did not flower last year so it flowered the year before um, so this is it And I'm going to bring it in a couple days. I'm going to give it a couple more days um, and then see what happens. But have a good day, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Look at that. Look at the wind.